below and say we have a 2019 Toyota Camry. I'm going to review this car, go walk around, um, we'll test drive, show you all the interior, engine, you know, trunk, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and start. Let's hop right real quick on that copyright. There we go. So this is a 2019, as I just said, it's white, a little bit of accent damage up there, but you know, most of them have this at this point. Switchblade key, kind of. Coming back in style, I guess. I had an old uh, EV Honda that had that, as well as a um, Jags, this, the 2000 time as well. So, here's your trunk space. Very big. You can probably fit like a fat dude in here, you know. Maybe a skinny guy in there as well. So, good space there. A little small exhaust, but I never even noticed that. That is tiny. I'm not cleaning this car right now. But, um, this is the exterior. I'm doing the wheels now. So, it's uh, common Xenon headlights for this era. LEDs, I don't know what they are. This car's too new for me. So, anyway, we're on the interior now. Let's close that truck. There we go. So, here's your interior. Just me a little quick review, but anyway. So, we have right here uh, your still um, analog gauge cluster. You have your tachometer, uh, temperature, fuel gauge, and speedo. Uh, right here you have your steering wheel controls, so you know, your phone, that kind of stuff, volume up, volume down. Over here you have your cruise control settings, lane departure, uh, front crash detection mode, I'm not really sure what that does, and I guess skip track. Right here you have your automatic headlights, um, smoke control off, trunk, and gas cap. And right here you have your window controls, as well as the mirror controls for both sides. Right here, uh, common mirror for this era, but, you know, sunglass holder. Sunroof could be there, but not on this car because it doesn't have one. Um, let's go ahead and put the key in. Very quiet as you can hear. Hopefully that'll stop in a second. There's your modern Toyota infotainment system. So right there is your screen. You have 55,000 miles in this one. Um, you, know, you can scroll through this kind of stuff. I don't really know what it does. I use these kind of cars, but we'll go back to zero miles an hour because that's the one I'm, I'm familiar with. Right there, you have your tripodometer as well as your lighting. Uh, vents right here, vents right there, and vents right there. As well as some wood trim right here. I'm going to place with wood trim in this car because it's the leather edition. Even though you have cloth seats. Uh, over there, you have your um, unlocking locking, some of the doors, door handles right here. They're finished in nice um, plastic trim, but it does look nice. Turn signals are right here, and your uh, wipers are right there. With the infotainment, it's alright. I don't like where the uh, tune and scroll button is. I actually think it should have been somewhere else. There we go. Um, volume is right here, it goes up and down, usual, as well as the power. Uh, we have, you know, that stuff. Your menu, you have your projection. I don't know, you know, I don't know how to use this stuff, it's too new for me. Um, let's go back to home. Yeah, this shows your gas mileage. It's alright for a modern car. A lot better than what I get in my Mercedes, my Jags, and my Fords, but you know. Map is right here. I don't think I have a phone set up. There are your uh, apps, cheek, uh, track, and seek. Just combine that. Climbing controls right here. It's very easy. Very easy to figure out. I like that setup. Uh, you have your 12 volt right here, as well as a what is this? Just a, a USB cord. But I've been charging it all day. So center console right here with two more outlets. Let's uh, let's zoom out. Man, I was like. I was at 2.2% uh, zoom. I was, I was pretty far out there. Um, here it tells you your airbag is on or off. It's obviously on right now because I am safe. Um, right here you have another certain console storage slider thing, and uh, that works very well. Uh, right here you have your glove box. Um, you have uh, speakers. Our car's cool. And here are your seats. This one is manual, this one is auto. So. Let's show you those right now. Oh, I'm not used to these cars. These new ones, I'm just detailing this one right now. So, I um, thought I'd do a review on it like I did with the Mustang a couple months ago. Uh, window control right there. In the back seat. These are very spacious. This is a lot bigger than, let's just say, a 210 E Class, 211 E Class, even a Jaguar XJ of the 2000s. A little center console right there. I guess there could be an air vent there, but this one's an option with one. Um, Fold down center console with two cup holders, not too bad. And you have a ton of space back there, surprisingly. Grab handles, of course, all four with coat hangers. Oh. 
and gas caps right there. I have no idea where the release is. I've never really dropped to those. I've driven a 400 before. Yeah, I've driven like an 07 Camry and a 14 Camry. Never uploaded the review on the um, 14. I keep forgetting to. I will one day, but uh, yeah. So right here you have your drive settings. You know, obviously park, reverse, neutral drive, and then if you slide over, sport, up, and down. But of course I'm going to drive because I have no need for that. And yeah, let's go. Um, this car is powered by a small engine. Uh, no idea what of course, powering of that stuff. I really just hopped in and was like, hey, let's do a review on this car. Because most of the cars I um, detail are like, you know, Jags, Mercedes, I've already done those. Well, if it's a car I haven't done yet, I'll do a review on it. But, it, you know, if it's a Jag S Type 4, I've already done those. You know, 4.2, I've already done that. Or Mercedes, I've done most of those. The, the ones that are, you know, unique, I'll do. Um, but let's see. Yeah. Top speed is 135, though. So that's the exact same as a uh, 210. 211 E320 CLK 320 all 320 Mercedes um, because everyone always says hey my camera did 160 miles an hour and I'm like no it did well, maybe 135 just because the speedo says 160 doesn't mean it can do 160 and no they're not tuning brand new cameras and brand new cords I'm sorry you aren't but uh, yeah, it drives pretty smooth it's a you know it's a modern car it's Toyota this thing has 55,000 miles on it's fresh most cars I drive are 200,000 miles so you know a little different story there. Um, it's massive though, like I'm not used to the size of car, I mean that hood is huge. It's probably the same size hood as like a, you know, 2.8 CLK I just reviewed, but the dimensions of this car are massive. Like it's, it's long, it's, um, you know, I don't know, spacious. <laughs> you know, you get into one of these older 2000s cars and they're just not like this. And this is probably just as quick, if not quicker than my CLK. Uh, I would put it on par with, um, you know, like a XJ or something, with the old V8 XJs or the NY6 XJs I usually are used to drive a lot more than now. But it's so spacious, in the backseat especially, it's just a different level. Um, you know, with these modern cars that just got massive, like I've driven, oh, there's two cameras, there's a, I've driven the 07 one before, and those are, those are a lot smaller. <laughs> Um, I, I call them the elephants. I don't know why. They just kind of look like an elephant. Well, especially in silver. Um, you know, and it shows, like, the temperature and all that stuff. Like, like I get old cars out of that, but it's just, it's weird being in a new car. Like, the newest car I've owned is 2015. And that was, you know, very bare-bones car, which is a daily. But this being a 2019, very different. Um, let's see. Let's go this way. Let's get a little power here and see what happens. It's front wheel drive, of course. It's not bad. I'd say 0 to 60 is probably in the 6 second range, if I were to guess. You know, not fast by any means, but quick. It's not slow, it can get up traffic pretty easily. Um, good handling, you know, it's it's different than, you know, stuff I drive, because it's awesome. Stuff I drive is so old. It's, it's like a different experience. <laughs> um, AC is amazing, it's cold, uh, and with Texas heat, it was 102 today, it's only like 93 right now, it feels nice. And you know, you get a warranty with this kind of stuff in 2019, I think, what, cars have five year warranties? So it still has, jeez, uh, only one year left, man, 2019 was yesterday for me, but you know, whatever. Um, what else can I say about this car? Sounds like is good. I can't play music, otherwise I can copyright like it on my, uh, on my, what was it, Mustang GT review, got 88 views compared to my old reviews that got, you know, seven, 8,000 back in the day. And even recently, my 211 video got, um, 3,000, 4,000, I forget, I don't want to check that too much. But, like, you know, got the speed, and it has a little digital speedometer there, like a 211 E-Class. But it's bigger, like, you have room for actually five people in this car comfortably. You know, I'm 6'2", I'm and I sit comfortably in this thing with, and I could sit myself in the back too and just be just uncomfortable. You cannot do that with a um, XJ. Uh, you know, that's 15 years older, but you know, it's, or 14, no, 16 years older, yeah, the last of uh, 03s. I've been in 04s and they have less room than this, but you know, it's different. But yeah, uh, 
would I recommend this car? Yes, it's reliable. Uh, it's Toyota. It'll last you probably, you know, 200,000 miles. Toyota's are not reliable if they say, especially these modern ones, but going off that, my 4Runner has 350,000 miles and it's doing just fine. Um, so, you know, I don't think I have a problem with these. I don't think they have turbochargers or anything, so, you know, I'd avoid the new Tundras, those are two turbochargers, I, would, I don't trust those, they're built in town, actually, but, you know, these naturally aspirated cars are great, and it gets into power, no problem, but, yeah, I would, I would recommend this for a daily, if you want, like, an everyday car, it's perfect, it's not great for, you know, a weekend car, because it's a Camry, but, you know, if you get a car for your kids, it'd be perfect, get a car for yourself, it's perfect, you know, if you want a car for your fleet, again, it's perfect. If you want a sports car, it's not perfect. Then, okay, you know, if you want a Toyota sports car, go get like a MR2 or a Celica. I get they're a little older, but they're really cheap. Super is relatively for price, and it's BMW plus turbos. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a smooth car, cool AC, it does everything I want it to do. Um, you know, it's not my car, but it's a fun car. Uh, anyway, yeah, hopefully, I'll enjoy it. I'm gonna finish up detailing this car. Um, Gotta go to a Three Doors Down concert in a couple months. I already know it's gonna be expensive. You know, parking that thing's probably gonna cost more than my car alone. You know, so. Anyway, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Again, I've probably said it three times, but uh, like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.